Hello guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you how to add a multi-column drop-down menu in WordPress. So if you're interested, let's start our tutorial. So first thing that we want to do here is we need to go ahead and visit our dashboard admin. So in this case, go ahead and log into your account. And once you're in here, the first thing that we should be considering is what type of template or what kind of BC team we, that we are currently using. So if you're not aware yet, the features that you'll see on your admin dashboard here would actually depend on the current team that you're using. Now in this case, let's go ahead and go to the left side here and we want to go ahead and go to appearance and go to teams. Now in this case, like for example, I'm using the 26 uh, team here and the options here for customized widgets, menus, headers, background, and additional CS, CSS will be available to me. Now, now, for example, if you're using an older team on your account, like for example, the 2011 here or even the older versions or the older teams here, then sometimes the menus option will not be available to you, which is an integral part for us to actually customize or create a very interesting menu. Now, in this case, the first thing you want to do is use a appropriate team. Now, in this case, at the left side here, if you're using an appropriate team here or an updated team, you should see the option that says menus here whenever you apply that specific team. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and go to menus and basically start creating our drop down menus or column drop downs. Now, from here, what we need to do next is we first have to create our menu. So let's go ahead and add our name here. Like, for example, we want to say test menu here and just click on create menu. Now, we also have other options here. That's, for example, auto add pages. So if you want to automatically add a new top level pages to this menu, you could go ahead and do that. But for now, we only want to enable the setting that says primary menu here. And from here, just click on create menu. Now, from here at the left side here, it's going to be enabled now. Now, in this case, we could go ahead and select the pages that we want to add as our menu. So in this case, I have this all of these pages here. Let's go ahead and select all of them. And from here, just go ahead and click on add menu. Now, in this case, all our menus will now be added. And from here, when we click on save menu here, just to give you an example, Let's go ahead and click on save menu. And from here, when we go to our website, as you can see, we don't have any navigation on our side. So when we actually reload this one, you should be able to see the navigation here. These are the pages that we just recently added. So just to give you an example, we have my account, checkout, cart, shop, and sample page here. Now, the cool thing about this one is whenever you changes the positioning on this specific menu here or navigation, you could actually uh, basically insert them below that specific link. Like for example, we want to include the checkout and cart option under my account. So in this case, let's go ahead and press and hold on it. And as you can see, I'm going to move it to the right and it's now under my account. Same thing with cart. Let's go ahead and move this under here. And from here, let's go ahead and click on save menu. Now from here at the top right of your screen or in our website, let's go ahead and reload our site here. As you can see, my account now has a drop down and checkout and cart is now under my account. Now, if you want to expand this further, like for example, we want to add shop here under the, uh, sec the checkout section here. You can go ahead and do that and just click on save menu. And once you've done that, let's go ahead and back to our website here and reload our website. And when we hover on my account here, we see checkout. And whenever we hover over checkout, we have shop, which is really, really cool. Now from here, if you want to revert those changes, let's drop it back in here. And from here, if you want to add a custom links, you can also do that. So let's go ahead and go to custom links here and go ahead and add our URL. So for example, we want to say google.com and we want to say this is for Google. Now from here, just click on add menu. As you can see, it's going to be now added. Now from here, just let's go ahead and click on save menu here. And from here, we want to go back to our website. And as you can see, when we reload this one, our changes will now be automatically applied again. Now from here, you could go ahead, just hover on this one, check out the card. And when we click on our customize link here, as you can see, it's going to redirect us back to Google. So which is really cool. Now from here on, you could go ahead and go wild, customize your navigation here or your menus here, and you should be good. And that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you. 
like and subscribe to you nft inspo thank you for watching